Look, um, I hope you don't mind that my daughter has to go. Do you need to go with her? No, 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 Mom. Stay. Have fun. Please. Thanks, guys. It was nice to meet you. <clears throat> Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with her. But, um, you were talking about your wrench. Did you have any horses? Yes, I had a few. Um, I had my own, Rosewood. My dad has a song called Rosewood. Oh, but no, not that Rosewood. I completely forgot about that song. Yeah, it's about my mom, you know, because she had this perfume that she always wore, and it was rose and... Sandalwood. Sandalwood. Yeah. It was like her own personal scent. I'm a fool. You're not a fool. Um... Raise your hand if you're over 30 and acting really weird right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Allison. I never told Rufus about that horse, so I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Wait a minute here. Why are you talking like you know each other? Do you two know each other? Uh, we kind of did know each other a long, long time ago. What? Uh, know each other how? Oh my God. This is unbelievable. You know what, I need some air. Don't follow me. You have a lot of explaining to do. Mom, wait. May we please be excused? that is above and beyond what is appropriate. I have been killing myself trying to make up for what happened in Hudson. Which is not an overreaction, I might add. And then I find out that the two of you are making out at oh, home parties? Oh, it was hardly making out. And there's an explanation. Oh, guys, I'm back, and I'm from Blair. Hey. Wow. Weird vibe. OK. Where's Dan? There's no chance we're related, right? Oh, look at Eric's roots. What do you mean? What's wrong with my roots? The kind of roof is like. Hey. Serena and Blair. Blair? Yeah, it's me. Explanation to follow, but first, what's going on with our parents? Oh, uh, our dad dated your mom. Yeah, we're not related, though. What? Yeah, ignore my roots. Wait, wait, what? You know what's really weird? There's a garage door in the middle of your room. Oh, is that Cedric? Oh, this day just got a lot worse. Oh, hold on, how serious were they, our parents? Uh, I think it's safe to say that they have had sex. Oh. Oh, no, no. Yeah. No, I'm gonna faint. To repeat, we are not related. She was a groupie, and he was almost famous. Suddenly, my family seems so sane. It's just too much to handle on an empty stomach. Well, we're not going back out there. Well, can we leave here then, please? Escape? I don't know, maybe eat? That's why they call it a fire escape. I think we're splitting hairs here, Rufus. An emotional affair is just as bad as a, as a physical one. Oh, please, nobody's buying that. Emotional affairs are necessary to keep a marriage alive. And how many times have you been divorced? Allison, this is not about Lily. This is about you and me. Exactly. And if we're gonna have any chance, then she can't be here. What, for Thanksgiving? Or ever? No, you can't be serious. I am. Look, I have made mistakes, and I know that. But... If she's in your life, you're never gonna get over her. Allison. This is it, Rufus. Okay, if you wanna make this work, then you have to make a choice. Mom is such a hypocrite. In all these years, she's been writing me about my behavior. And here she's just mad at you for being her. <sighs> all the time my dad has given me this advice based on this girl he dated, this girl, a lot like Serena. It's her mom. When you think about it, it makes total sense that your mom was a groupie. I mean, only a woman that had completely satisfied her sexual appetite in her youth would ever marry your stepdad. So. Wait, can we not talk about my mom's appetite? No, or who, or who satisfied her. It's just so gross. gross. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Is everything OK? Yeah. Do, do you want to go home? We could call a car. No, no, not yet. Um, I need fries. Is that really necessary, Mom? From what I hear, you have been in places far dirtier than this. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Try spending nine hours with Jane's addiction on the Ohio Turnpike. Then we'll talk about dirty. <laughs> okay. Mm, a little 
little Thanksgiving proclamation. You two ever play grab ass in my elevator again, and Serena will be staying at an airport in Marriott. Happy holidays. Hi. Hi. Our trip and Serena having an affair. Nate, please. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want him back. I'm sorry, Maureen. But I think I have a way we can end it quickly and quietly. I don't know if you want to see this. If it will end it, I do. Where are you dragging me? Haven't you ever heard of a whispered aside? What did Eric do at Cotillion? What do you mean? I mean, I invited Jonathan for Thanksgiving and he texted me back saying he was surprised that Eric and I were still even friends after that night. Please. You of all people respect a well-thought-out sabotage. Although you came through unscathed, Eric's plan was solid. Eric's plan? Stealing your escort, leaving you stranded at the top of the stairs. It was all his idea. By the way, how do you find having a sibling? Someone whose sole purpose on earth is to compete for your parents' love and attention? Uh, if everyone could please find their seat. I am so happy we're sitting next to each other, Rufus. Excuse me. Cece, tell me everything about Rufus and Lily's wedding. I was boycotting the floral industry or I would have been there myself. Tragically, I wasn't invited. Apparently, my son-in-law felt it better if I didn't attend. Rufus? Ma'am, it's none of your business. You, you didn't want Lily's own mother at your wedding? Fifth wedding. But still. Lily told me you were still too sick to travel. Thank you, but I mean, I've been in remission since the middle of August. But Lily didn't come home till October. Oh, perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> Wine? Why does my mom have to stick her nose into everyone's business? Oh, come on, Cece's heart pumps secrets in gin. It's not, it's not your mom's fault. You've been defending her all day and ignoring me. What's going on with you? And you're making that face again. No, all right, look, this is getting ridiculous. Jenny, have look. you ever heard of someone starting to make a brand new face at 19? I don't know, ask Eric. He's mastered too. Excuse me? Claire told me you were responsible for sabotaging me at Cotillion. What? You don't have anything to say to me? Sweet potatoes are bland. Mother, there's some camembert from artisanal. It's unpasteurized, don't you want some? It's enough. What has gotten into you? Into me? Try you, you're the one who's pregnant. Lily and I would like to thank you all for coming to our first Thanksgiving as a family. Now, before she gets back, I'd like to tell you a joke that I tell every year, which Lily has expressly forbidden. A group of pilgrims <laughs> decide to start a band. And they begin looking for lead singers. How can you two sit there smiling? Don't you have any sense of decency? Morning. No, not one second more. Trip and I are going to grow old together. Without you. Or I make my own statement. Where did you get that? He'll be a political joke. And you'll be a punchline. Your affair ends now. Serena. That's what I call Plymouth Rock. You know what? Why don't we just eat? I've lost my appetite. And I want pie. Kids. Oh, what makes you an expert? I'm so glad you invited me, Rufus. Cheers. I'll be right down. Every visit. Oh, and 
And did I tell you, Leslie's gonna be there. No way, I talked to her last night. She said she was stuck at school. Ah, oh, pretend I didn't just ruin the surprise. Promise me you'll get on the road within the hour. I don't want you to get stuck in traffic. Okay, I will. I just have to finish this report and then I'm on my way. these, but I figure someone might get hungry. My mom is still on the phone with Veronica. They haven't seen her yet. Spencer's still getting processed. Look, I'm, I'm sure that the Hastings are working on her bail. They'll get her out of there in no time, Maria. It's Mona. Hello? Allison lured Bethany to Rosewood. What? Why? She knew about the affair. Allison set her up. She was jealous, and she wanted Bethany dead. Aria, Allison is A, and now I can prove it. Grab your coat. Where are we going? To Mona's. She found proof. Allie's A. Game over, Allison. I win. Mom? The investigation is ongoing, but we have ruled this a homicide. Although we did not find a body, the amount of blood in the house would indicate that the victim's wounds are fatal. Mona Vanderwall was murdered. I just want what's best for her. What if it's the only way for her to move on, get center? Guys. Well-known Manhattan socialite and former party girl Serena Vander Woodson was admitted to St. Margaret's emergency room after EMTs responded to a 911 call from a motel in Queens. I don't know where I am or how I got here. Please help. Oh, my God. No stranger to controversy, Miss Vander Woodson was recently the focus... There are news vans in the street. This place is going to be swarming with paparazzi in about five minutes. So we'll get her out of here, take her home where she can rest. No, I'm sure that they're pitching tents outside the apartment as we speak. That's not what she needs. She needs quiet. She needs safe. Mrs. Humphrey, your daughter is waking up now. Would you like to see her? Ostrov Center. And if she doesn't want to go, involuntary hold? Yes, now. Okay. Do you remember when I had my problem? 
and I never wanted to go to Dr. Sherman. So you would walk me and wait outside the building to make sure that I went in, and an hour later, you'd be standing there to walk me home. No questions asked. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have gotten better. Except I don't need to get better. I didn't do anything. So what? Someone went on a bender and rented a room with your credit card and forced pills down your throat? I know how it sounds. Good, because it sounds... Crazy, yeah. I got that. Afternoon, Upper East Siders. Were your dinners as filling as mine was? Hope not, because have I got some dessert for you with sugar on top. Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. It seems everyone's favorite party girl fell off the wagon and landed in rehab. Good luck getting a low handle on things, S. From the looks of it, you've got a lot to recover from. Take me back to Ostrov. How many times do I have to go Courtney Love on your ass before you get the message? I don't want you here. The girl in Gossip Girl's Blast isn't Serena. What? It's Juliet. We had a plan to turn everyone against her. When you and Chuck were exposed at his party, that was me. You? And while I was doing that, Juliet was kissing Dan and Nate. We were both dressed exactly like Serena. This is from her costume. It's what she wore in those photos. It's a pretty tall tale from a not-too-reliable source. Blair, what reason do I have to come clean? Like it or not, you know me. And you know that I love a good game as much as the next girl, but I would never want to hurt Serena for real. Juliet did, and she used Vanessa and me to do it. Are you willing to go double agent? Help me bring Juliet down? I wish I could but you were right in banishing me. I thought I could change and I didn't. So I think the best thing for me to do is go and stay gone. Thanksgiving without Jenny Humphrey. And what fun would that be? Juliet's apartment's empty. I'm pretty sure she left town. Good luck. Other times, even things we never realized were traditions can become one. Whatever happens from here on out, we'll handle it together, okay? But the best kinds of traditions are the ones that bring people together, even under the most unlikely of circumstances. Vanessa? Oh, Blair. I owe you an apology. Juliet may have been behind Serena's overdose, and I have no intention of letting it go unavenged. I need your help to find her and extract a confession. Are you in? Aren't I about the last person you'd want helping you? You love Serena, don't you? So, we have something in common. What do you say we find that bitch and get us a little frontier justice? Come together right now. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Mmm, yum. Why are you mad? I didn't decide to close the airport. Billy and Bart are the least of my concerns. Oh, you're mad that I invited Steven to dinner? No, no, I'm thrilled that you invited your ex to our Thanksgiving dinner. I was hoping maybe Ben or Colin or Carter could stop by later for apple crostata. Oh, come on, Dan. I only invited them because they had nowhere else to go. What would you have done? Called you. Giving you a heads up. In an equal partnership, you're supposed to take the other person's feelings into consideration. I'm sorry, but it just, it happened so quickly, and honestly, I didn't think you'd care. Did you invite the guy you were ready to get engaged to at Cotillion? Why are you being so insecure? I find your ex is here. Because you invited her. But we're together now. I think your stuffing's burning. Hey, Dominic Dummy. Georgina. No Vanner was a family holiday would be complete without you. Mm. Keep your flattery in your pants. I know you sent in two Serena chapters to Vanity Fair. I did. 
They're both the truth, and I'm still not showing you either. I don't need to read them. Obviously, one is the stupid Serena serenade that you've been composing since ninth grade, and the other is the piercing expose that you started to write over the summer. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to win, or do you just want to win Serena? There is no winning without Serena. Dinner's ready. So it's many more years of, of love, happiness, and good friends. Cheers. 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 Oh, well. <clears throat> I, too, have something to be grateful for. Freedom of the press. If you'll all take a look at your phones, you will soon realize that my protege, Daniel Humphrey, has just released the latest installment of his serial, a chapter on our very own Serena. The right chapter, thank you very much. What's she talking about? Serena Vander Woodson, Golden Girl Falls from Grace. A faux love story. Serena is nothing. She's a golden shell. Give her love and she'll do anything you want. Serena, I know you're upset. Well, with daddy issues like these, it's not hard to push the right buttons. And once you do, the most powerful girl on the Upper East Side has no power at all. I understand if you would have written this in the spring. You were so mad at me then. But why would you write this now? Why, why not write it now? It's no less true than it was then. Okay, I'm sorry, I must be confused. I mean, has everything that's happened since Cotillion been a lie? The, the Vespa, the bar, did, did you ask someone to stop the elevator? Ivanya, I told him I was trying to win you back. But everything I've said about how I feel is the truth. No, that's, that's not possible. That doesn't make sense. You couldn't say these things about me if you loved me. I invited you into my home, Dan, I am my world, and then you just humiliate me. That is the issue, it's my world. Oh, come on, it's a figure of speech. No, it has always been your world and you've never let me forget it. I've always been a visitor, the poor kid from Brooklyn who you've never seen as an equal to you. Okay, so this is your payback. Do you feel better about riding the subway to school since you made a fool of me and everyone? What I did is no worse than what all your friends do to each other every day. You try to ruin each other, and then you sit down for Thanksgiving, and you <laughs> call yourselves family. You were supposed to be different. I, I used to be. Got me nowhere. So now I'm the same. Goodbye, Dan. Hey, Dan, before you go, That was from all of us. Daniel, I just wanted to say I was impressed with your latest literary offering. You've restored my faith in your generation. If you ever need anything, give a call. Do not leave me alone with them. Last time I attended a shunning, I froze my drop off in Siberia. Oh, I can get you this cold around here. Do you think they hate me? They fear you. Welcome to the Upper East Side. <laughs>